It's time for another legal talk right here on uh, E Radio, and uh, joining us today from Han and Han Attorneys is Senior Candidate Attorney Olebu Cheng Mangena. And uh, today is scenario that we've got is my partner and I are splitting up. We're not married. We have a small dog together, and now we're fighting over who gets the dog. How can we sort this out? What a scenario. Olebu Cheng, welcome to Legal Talk. I hope you can help us with this one. Um, thank you, man. Um, it's good to be here and to be advising um, today. Yes. So um, how we proceeded is that um, the question of who gets the dog would um, be preceded by um, the procedure that is going to be followed in order to ensure that whoever party gets to have ownership of the dog got that in a current um, manner. Mm. So um, the procedure to be followed, we're going to explore a few avenues, um, which we always refer to as dispute resolu- um, alternative dispute resolutions. And in this case, we're going to employ mediation. Okay. So if I may just explain, um, a dispute, uh, alternative dispute resolution is um, a process in, in which an independent and impartial person assist the parties to attempt to resolve the dispute. It can either happen before or after the commencement of litigation. Okay, and now what is mediation and, and how does it differ from litigation? Okay, um, mediation is a, a process by which a mediator, the person who we call a mediator, um, assists the parties in actual or um, potential litigation to resolve the dispute between um, the parties by um, facilitating the discussion between them and assisting them to identify issues and exploring um, potential um, areas of compromise and also generating options in an attempt to resolve the dispute. So it's more of a voluntary um, procedure and is not binding on the parties unless there's an argument. Whereas a litigation is a non-voluntary and it is binding on the parties and is also subject to appeal. So it's more of a formal procedure of um, dispute, um, res- dissolve, um, resolving a dispute between parties. Okay, and when should one refer a matter to mediation, like our uh, scenario that we have today? What do you think is the best option mm. for it? Um, it can be referred, um, how I, I we usually advise clients are to refer the, the matter into um, for mediation at its infancy, not um, during litigation or after the commencement of litigation. So it's always advisable for the parties to refer the matter for lit- for mediation before the commencement of the um, the proceedings. And um, you find that in in, in even the courts, like for example, the High Court Rule Forty One, it um, compels the parties to um, refer their matters or dispute for mediation before they can before they can approach the court. However, I want to um, highlight that it's not um, a must or parties are not compelled to agree to mediation, but they are compelled to refer the matter to mediation. Okay, and who can refer this dispute to uh, mediation? Um, any party can refer if they have an interest in, the, in that particular dispute, can just refer the matter to mediation. Okay, and the I mean, look. Let's look at instances where uh, mediation works and where it doesn't work. Can you give us a few examples? Yeah, sure. Um, instances where mediation works is where um, the court cannot um, provide the relief that the parties need, and um, the second instance would be where the parties wishes to minimize the cost because mediation is not expensive as litigation or arbitration or other um, alternative dispute resolution. And um, it could be where the parties um, wants to avoid the court precedents. And lastly, would be where the parties wants a, um, want to settle promptly, like immediately. 
and I'm getting on instances where mediation will not um, work will be where, for example, there's a will that is being contested and that the parties feel like they cannot sufficiently um, represent their interest and also where any of the parties object to the matter being um, referred for mediation. Okay, and is the decision of uh, the mediator binding and what should happen if someone is in breach of an agreement that was made in uh, mediation? Um, The decision of a mediator, it is binding um, and it's also enforceable. So if somebody breaches the term of the mediation settlement agreement, um, one may take the matter to court. For example, um, somebody who breaches uh, the deal might be liable for breach of contract claim. And additionally, mm-hmm. you um, one may just elect to take the matter to court on the original dispute. However, I want to highlight that um, there must be a settlement. So a settlement um, must first be made an order of the court for it to be enforced. In that case, um, the party whose who's, um, settlement is in favor um, may apply to court to make the settlement an order of court if they have um, already instituted the litigation proceedings um, and put the matter for um, determination. Okay. And uh, is there a regulation authority responsible for mediation? Um, currently, there is no regulatory body for um, mediation. However, in um, cases of labor, like labor um, disputes, the Labor Relations Act has established the CCMA um, as a board that will facilitate the mediation in, in labor disputes. And uh, the Basic Condition of Employment Act also extends the jurisdiction of the CCMA to cover the enforcement of proge- um, procedures and enforcement related to um, employment. And um, the, the Constitutional Court has also advocated um, advocated for the referral of the dispute to mediation. Okay, and now our final question for uh, today's legal talk. Once the mediation process has commenced, can it stop mm-hmm. before the end of the process? Can it be stopped? Definitely. The parties to the mediation process, they are, um, which is one of the advantages of mediation, is that they are in full control of the of the proceedings. So should any party feel like their um, interest is not really being advanced or they don't wish to be part of the, the mediation, they can definitely pull out from me. Okay. That's very interesting. Uh, I wonder who's going to get yeah. the dog. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> I wonder who's going to get the dog. <laughs> yeah, but whoever gets the dog, it will be um, in a fair manner. Um, yes. The hopefully. person is going to be here in the, the whole discussion would obviously give a just decision yeah. for the both parties. <laughs> yes. But uh, thank you for uh, shedding some light on the uh, mediation and uh, all that kind of mm-hmm. uh, processes. I don't think we spoke about that before. Uh, really appreciate your time and your knowledge. Uh, senior candidate attorney at Hananan Olebucheng Mangena. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Are you or your business in trouble and struggling to find a solution? Call Hahn & Hahn Attorneys as we assist clients in finding solutions. We specialize in consumer and food law, commercial and construction law, forensic investigations and administrative law. Visit hahnlaw.co.za. That's H-A-H-N. We assist clients nationwide. Hahn & Hahn Attorneys. Because we care. Don't miss Legal Talk with Hahn & Hahn Attorneys Wednesday mornings at 10 on E-Radio.